So what is the difference between Copilot and ChatGPT? Let's take a quick look. So I'm talking about Copilot on the web versus using ChatGPT. Both are AI developed to help you accomplish tasks and activities faster and more efficiently. Both are NLPs, natural language processing, which use machine learning and natural language so we can have conversations. And that's how we can fine tune the results that we get. The difference here in the yellow is that with Copilot on Edge, we sign in with our Microsoft 365 account. And that means that what we're searching and using and the way we talk with Copilot is private and confidential. Whereas with ChatGPT, when you use the free version, it's public. So here's what Microsoft says about Copilot. User and business data is protected and will not leak outside the organization. You can be confident that chat data is not saved and Microsoft has no eyes on access to it. And it's not used to train the models. But let's look at the default for ChatGPT. The default is that new chats on this browser will be saved to your history and allowed to be used to improve our models. So you need to know to go in and turn off that setting inside ChatGPT. Here's what's been in the headlines. Apple becomes the latest company to ban ChatGPT for internal use. Their concerns are that AI could spill sensitive internal information which has been shared with it. And Samsung employees use ChatGPT to, to generate notes from a meeting and that was reportedly leaked to ChatGPT. So there are concerns about the privacy and security. So when you're using Copilot inside Microsoft Edge, make sure you're signed in here and that will make sure your account is protected.